George Lizard, welcome and congratulations because this weekend you're going to be looking to go 2 and 0. I already presume that you were 2 and 0. I beg your pardon. How are you? You must have known something before I did. Uh, 100%. No, I'm really good, thank you. Really good. Just to, so our viewers can get to know you, really, because it's the first time I've met you. Let us know a little bit about yourself. I know you're one of Eddie's prospect signings. So, in fact, over to you. Tell us a little bit about yourself. I'm still a youngster. I'm only 20, but, you know, I've got the ability to go all the way 100%. And uh, obviously there's stages and boxes I've got to tick on the way. But, yeah, I'm confident with my fast hands and explosive power that I'll get there. I'll get there. Amateur career, your amateur pedigree. Let us know a little bit about that. Yeah, no, I was a four-time national champion. Uh, yeah, won youth titles, uh, a couple of international medals at box cups and that. So, yeah, I had, I had about 60 fights, I think, in the end. So, I was an experienced amateur, boxing since I was about 10, um, like, as an amateur. So, plenty of experience in the ring and uh, just time to transfer it into the pros now. I was about to say, how have you found that transfer from the amateur into the pros? Because there is a big difference, isn't there? No, I love it to be honest. Like the training ch has changed massively. Like obviously stepped it up massively. Like you think you're working hard as an amateur, but then coming into a gym like Matchroom, it's, it's a big step up. But I think I've handled it really well. And you know, working with world-class fighters week in, week out, sparring, um, I'm just really excited for what the future holds. What's it like working in the Matchroom gym? Because like you said, you've got the world-class fighters in there. What is it like being part of that gym? Because you are attached to a gym that's attached to the promotional company, something that's often denied to fighters. So what's that like? Are you like, would you say you're in a privileged position? 100%. I'm so grateful for the opportunity I've been given. You know, like I have a good amateur pedigree, but there's fighters out there that have obviously won more. But I think Tony and Kev obviously see something in me that they saw a lot of potential. And I couldn't be more grateful to be able to train with such good fighters week in, week out. And it's, it's only going to improve me. Only going to improve me. When it comes to your sparring then, who would you say that you've had the most enjoyable, when I say enjoyable, the most learning from in that gym or somebody that's come into the gym? You know what, a lot of the rounds are tough, but that's what I want. I want those tough rounds. And, you know, Felix Cash, me and him do, we're, we're doing like eight to ten rounds sometimes when we're sparring, you know, straight off. And he's fighting for a European title in April, we're at middleweight. So having that sparring, I spar Conor Ben, I spar Craig Richards, I spar John Ryder, I spar everyone, everyone at the gym. And, yeah, it's just invaluable. You know, it, Honestly, like money couldn't pay for those rounds. And, yes, yeah, it's, it's only going to help me as I progress. The one thing I do like about your gym is the morning runs that I see posted on uh, social media. The fact that... Sims is all, all about that cardio, that recovery, making sure you guys are doing your road running. Talk to us about that. It's all about that hard graft, you know, waking up early in the morning. It's all a mindset thing. It, it turns you into a monster, you know, and, and it, that's what separates us, I think, from the rest. And that, yeah, going for, like starting that so young in, my, like, young in my career, I'm only 20, and having that early on, I think it just paves the way for my future and just, just be, being a hard worker, that's what's important. So when you've got all of those experienced fighters around you, how do you see that setting you up for your future? Yes, obviously, you know, you're going to push for titles eventually, but does it want to make you, not take shortcuts, but does it want to make you jump a little bit further ahead than you are because of the class of fighter that you're sparring with? Yeah, no, definitely. It makes you eager to move on quick because um, you know the level, I know I'm already, at, you know, going to be at a good level, but I have to, you know, I have to prove my way there. I've got to keep beating whoever's put in front of me at the end of the day, but look, I've got my team around me. I'm sure they'll move me in the right direction, but... Uh, I'm eager, you know, I want to go on and do big things, so, but yeah, I've got plenty of time, I'm only young. Tony Sims, and like you said, you've got Kevin Mitchell, both solid trainers, both old school, Kevin being a really good fighter himself, somebody that was prepared to go to the death in his fights before he retired. How did you end up in that gym? What was it that helped you get that training? Because surely you could have gone anywhere you wanted, really, with that pedigree. Yeah, no, Tony texted me, he asked me to come down and do some sparring with John and Felix before John beat Danny Jacobs and Felix beat that Russian fella. Uh, he asked me to go down there for some rounds and I, I said to Tony, look, I'd like to turn pro, you know, I know I'm young, but I'd like to turn pro. And he said, come down, see how you get on, like a trial. And I've been there since, so it must have all gone good. <laughs> we love it. Listen, I am looking forward to seeing you out on Saturday night. You can see now it's kind of getting busy. I want you to take your seat and not be late because we've got to get to that two and on professionally. Thank you so much for your time and I'll see you Saturday night. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. All the best. Hi, and thank you for watching October Red Boxing. Like, subscribe and tap the bell for notifications. You can also find us on Instagram at October Red Boxing and on Twitter, October Red UK. And remember, at October Red, we stay ready.